Yo, what is going on, guys? I am bringing you episode number nine of the Deca Street. Huge shout out to Hut Puck Traders for very fast and reliable service. And in this episode, Marion Gabrick, who was lighting it up last episode, and I think the episode before that, if we got him in two episodes, but he's been playing really good and he's continuing to play really good. Terrible turnover on our part, and he gets a breakaway goal, which I guess I'm not really going to complain about. Except this goal, I definitely am going to complain about. I got a poke check perfectly on a stick. Did not do anything. This was after the tuner update where the poke checks are supposed to be better. And he scores, and we lose that game. Very frustrating. We're losing these games. We're definitely not playing these people, and we're getting a loss. So, we're going to open some packs to try to make her team a bit better. But, I don't think Brad Boyce is going to really be the solution to making her team better. We're going to open another gold pack, or the jumbo packs trying to get like an 88 89 player who could really boost our team and maybe give us the edge because i know i'm a pretty good player i'm not amazing i'm not a top 100 top 500 player but i think i'm a top a thousand player so in this game and i think i'm definitely above average and losing to these teams who aren't very good from stupid ways just frustrate me i've realized that when i was scoring all those goals i mean i was obviously and easily winning like 6-1 6-2 stuff like that and i'd give up one or two stupid goals and I'm still giving up one or two stupid goals a game, but now I can't score all of a sudden. It, it makes no sense. It's very frustrating. I know the tuner update changed the goalies around, but when, it, when the tuner update first came back, I think I scored six goals and five goals in the two games, mm -hmm. and then now I'm just having a terrible time scoring. And it's very frustrating because I can't create any offense, and I'll give up one random breakaway or one random thing, and then that'll be it. I'll get like 18 shots to five, and I'll lose the game one nothing or 2-1, something like that. Very frustrating. We decided to open one of these bronze packs because there was a team of the week out. So people were saying they were pulling them and how good they were. They were terrible for me, those bronze packs. Well, not terrible, not very good. And then we opened some of the mega packs, which if you guys watch a mega pack video, sadly you've already seen this, but I decided that not everyone's going to want to watch my mega pack video and that I should include it in here as well. So if you've already seen the Mega Pack and you don't want to rewatch it again, you could skip like a minute and, or no, just two minutes, I believe. And then otherwise, I'm going to be showing you guys the Mega Packs because I know people are going to be interested in seeing what exactly all the things I'm doing for the Deacon Street. As you see, this Mega Pack, we do pull a Brody, but not too good. Boosted him up and quick sold him for like 8k, but definitely not too good of a pull. This pack, we maybe got like... 14k out of and we spent 35k so not a good proportion and we also spent some real money on these packs because apparently people were pulling some great stuff and our best pull so far is mike richards who goes for 9k so pretty frustrating considering how a lot of the pulls i've seen people get like usually on twitter for example or other videos every two packs they'll pull an 88 or an 89 and i'm sitting here pulling like the worst 80 you could pull and i've opened like three of them already and then we're going to open another one, and as you can see in this pack, we pull absolutely nothing. It's just very frustrating. I honestly don't know why I kept spending coins and money on these packs, because they were terrible. But I just kept doing it for A, the sake of uh, making it entertaining, and B, I was like, well, if I keep getting bad stuff, eventually I got to get something good, right? Like a 90 overall, like if, if I spent all my coins and maybe like the, the $18 or $12 I spent on these... I mean, I've got to at least get, like, a player worth, like, 100k or so, right? But as you can keep seeing, I mean, we're not getting anything at all. There's nothing even, like, of any value. And then I saw this Oilers Arena, and it was, like, 50k almost. Wow, okay, that's perfect. That's basically, like, that makes up for it. Except the great thing is, and my great thing, it's, like, terrible thing. The prices of the that arena, anyway, dropped tremendously. I, I only ended up selling it for 9k. And I put it up like eight or nine times and it just wouldn't sell. I tried 50k, 30k, like 15k. Wouldn't sell. I think I sold it for nine or 10k and it just wasn't really good. This pack we pulled two 86s who are some pretty good players, but not really worth that much. So pretty frustrating. We pull another Alsner, so I guess another 86. But it's just uh, these packs, they were not worth it at all. I mean, I had almost like 100k in, in coins and I spent like 12 or 18 dollars and I walk away with pretty much nothing. The arena, I was like, okay, maybe that's a little bit of hope, but that's nothing at all. And we're also going to trade some of the players on our team to maybe make a little bit of a adjustment, because our team hasn't been that great. We're going to trade Hedman away, and Claude Giroux, who's been really good, we get a good trade for him in Ben and Marlow to improve our team, to give us a little more depth by adding two good players instead of just having Giroux. Plus, I heard a lot of good things about Ben. So, 
we end up taking Ben and Marlow to the team, as well as getting rid of our captain, Ryan Getzlaff, for Phil Kessel and Jack Johnson. So our team is definitely more revamped. We're also going to buy Vlasic to replace Hedman, which I don't know how much of a uh, fair fitting that's going to be because Hedman's a different type of player, but that's going to be a defensive defenseman playing with Oliver ekman Larson, so it gives us better chemistry, if chemistry even makes that much of a difference. And we're also going to put Jamie Benn on our first line left wing for the time being. We are going to add newly acquired Phil Kessel to the right wing. So now our first line looks like Ben, Pavelski, and Kessel, which I think is probably a bit worse than our old first line, but our second line is now going to add Johansson, and for the new left winger, we're going to add Marlow, which I think our second line improved, though, and made our team better depth-wise. So this is what we did to the team. It looks a bit different, maybe not that much better, but definitely a change-up, and that's what we need, because we've been losing some games that... Because we can't score, and it's very frustrating, but these are the new players on the team. Phil Kessel, Jamie Benn, Marlowe, and Johansson. Welcome to the Deacon Street. No, I said it's true. I can feel the love. Can you feel it too? I can feel it. Oh, oh, oh. I can feel it. Oh. No, I said it's true. I can feel the love. Can you feel it too? I can feel it. Oh, oh, oh. I can feel it. Oh. Slept at home, not trying to be left alone I'm waking up every morning to a metronome With no alarm clock, I don't gotta set my phone You know the bar stops selling alcohol after 2 a.m. You no longer in New York City, it's just you and them And the people who fucking with me, I say they travel the world I'm about to cover some distances And I'm just trying to prove to y'all what the difference is So when you love what you're doing and then you're missing it I'ma send y'all regards A few postcards up in the mail Jean-Luc, I never fail This is new wave rap, we never go Going to jail cause all I wanna do is drink wine and make babies You ain't never had a sick line, Wayne Brady Let me kick rhymes, y'all can kick rocks like Ba with a body, bang the bang uh. No, I said it's true, I can feel the love, can you feel it too? I can feel it, oh, oh, oh. I can feel it, oh, oh, oh. No, I said it's true, I can feel the love, can you feel it too? I can feel it, oh, oh. Good kids be a little bad, let them stay out the night. They selling the L Ray out, feeling like King Charles, partying like Harry, girl. These are nice, you sorry you got married. Well, single women like room service and take out. So, will we make out? I'm so sure I'm Jay Wow. I'm running around the base now, just trying to get my face down. You got a body, let me work it like I'm based down. So, shout the base guy, we cooking in this. Top 10 on Billboard, now they looking at this. I haven't found success, and told me success sucks, but I found the best fans who phony shit. After making a pretty big change up by including five new players to the Deacon Street, we move into this game. Phil Kessel gives it to Travis Zajac, and Travis Zajac would give us a nice little goal right there. Again, Phil Kessel is randomly number 18, but I guess YOLO, he's been that number forever. And again, a terrible goal we gave up. It just makes no sense. We randomly kicked it in our own net. Very frustrating. But we do get a breakaway, and we go bar down. What a nice goal, and again, no other than Marion Gabrick, who always seems to get breakaways and always seems to get goals. And another little breakaway, and that would be a penalty shot with 42, 48 seconds. Excuse my French. We get a breakaway penalty shot, whatever you want to call it, and we would go again. Backhand, bar down. Marion Gabrick, yep, that's all he does, really. That's the only goal he's got, but it doesn't matter because... We get another little breakaway. We do not score or even get a shot attempt. We throw it back to Boyle, and we finally get a win. Four goals is very nice. We move into this game against a Bruins fan, trying to get another win because we have not really got a win streak in a while. His goalie randomly gets hit by our player, but his player hits our player. You know, obviously a bunch of stuff happened. It counts as a goal, which I thought it was not, but whatever. But we do score there. Gabrick, a nice little bar down backhand shot. Not on a breakaway this time. And then he just completely directs me on defense and makes me go completely out of position and just snipes it. And then that goal goes in. Not very good goal at all. I don't understand how Varlamov didn't make that save. But it is a 2-2 game the end of the third period. We're just trying to score, trying to throw everything at the net. We can't really create anything. This guy definitely came back in the third period in the second period. And Jamie Benn would score a nice little goal assisted by Kessel. So the two new guys come in and help us get back-to-back -back wins. We're also going to open a 17.5k pack 
seeing if we could maybe get another center. We're looking for a number one center because Pavelski is good, but I think I'd rather him as on my second line center and have like a 90 overall. Like if I had Matt Duchesne on my first line center, that would be unreal. I wish I can get a Duchesne, but I have nowhere close to them as many pucks. And oof, some of the people's teams I've seen, like the donations they get, oh my, their teams are unreal. And not just donations, but people's pack luck is unreal and stuff like that. It's just, people are lucky. I mean, as you can see, we're opening these free packs. We're not getting anything at all. The money packs, the mega packs, nothing. This last free pack, though, turns some heads. I mean, I got a Jordan Stahl, who's he's nothing too amazing, but you could trade him, and he was absolutely for free. And we got a 15 duration, as well as a Craig Smith. So this pack was probably better than pretty much all of the mega packs I bought. And now we're going to move into this next game, trying to get another win on the board for us. 2.3 seconds in the second period. We are basically scoreless. Obviously scoreless, not basically. And we're going to go into the third period tied 0-0. I was dominating this game. Again, couldn't get any goals for some reason. It was very frustrating. I think I had one power play where I literally got like three shots on it or so. And I mean, the game was going good. It was really smooth. Everything was definitely playing good. I was definitely out playing him. And I don't know, I felt like I was going to score in the third period and go in overtime. And that happens. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I lose connection. And I get a loss. Very frustrating. Seven shots to two. Time and attack was only close because he got this one play where he just kept passing back to the point. He didn't even take any shots. Seven shots to two. I get randomly disconnected out of nowhere. I log in a second later and I lose. It's just so frustrating. <sighs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just, uh, with all this game's lag issues and stuff like that, on top of me not being able to score and stuff like that, it's just very frustrating. So, what do you guys want to see me do for next episode or continue with the series? Do you think I should sell most of my players and, like, just completely change my lineups or what? Because I, I don't get how I'm not scoring. I was scoring, like, five, six goals a game, and now I'm getting one or two. But if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>